took a break to come see how the little ones are doing. Are you guys having fun in the bathtub? Summer does not like that they're in here. It's only, only a couple more minutes, okay? Blossom and I are now going to go drop off her daycare paperwork. Are you excited, Blossom? You get to go to daycare next week. I'm sure she's excited, but a little nervous. I am also a little nervous and excited for her. Also, we are going to Target and we're gonna be getting some stuff for the kittens. Yay! So it is now time to start litter training for these little ones. That's actually why Blossom and I had to go to Target yesterday. But first I'm going to deep clean this entire area because it's definitely a little messy. And then we're gonna set up their spot for litter training. Okay kittens, I'm gonna have to move you out of here. Yeah, Summer, I gotta move them. Sorry, it has to be done. It's time to clean. Yep. I have to move them, Summer. Just for a little bit. So the kittens have now been moved into this hall bathroom I have, into the tub, so that they can walk around in here. And if they do make a mess, it's an easy cleanup. I've now moved everything to this side of the room and then got rid of all the small things that were in the way. I'm gonna start with deep cleaning that side. And then after I finish that side, that's when I'll move all this stuff back and then I can deep clean this side as well. So this corner seems to be where they were peeing at the most. And I don't think they always made it on the puppy pee pads. So I'm now gonna use the stain and odor eliminator in this corner. Make sure that there's no smell left. So I am all done with cleaning the kitten area and I'm gonna give you guys a full tour very soon. But first I wanted to talk about the litter training and what I plan to do. So this is the litter I'll be using. This is recycled paper. And I'm gonna be using this kind because I wanna make sure not to use something that is a clumping type of litter because kittens are very curious and they might try and eat some of it. So you wanna use a non-clumping litter. So I'm gonna use this kind, which is the same kind I used last time. But one thing I am doing different than last time is I'm going to be using aluminum foil cake pans instead of a uh, traditional litter box just because these are more easily disposable and I can just throw the entire thing away rather than having to deep clean it each time. So here's the litter and I decided to put them in that corner because that seems to be the corner that the kittens liked to go in the most. But I also wanted to talk about why I do it out in the open. So the first time I tried to litter train the kittens, I actually had bought this box right here for litter training and I was gonna put the litter box in there. But I realized kittens are not the sharpest cats at that age. So they didn't know where to go, they would get confused. So it's best if you're gonna do litter training to leave it out in the open and then also leave boxes like this more for sleeping. So that's what that is now. Now the kittens usually go in there to sleep and rest, or when they were in the younger stage, this was to keep them in that one area. But now I'm doing litter training out here. Oh, look at the kittens. They had fallen asleep. Sorry guys, we gotta go back to the other room. You guys ready? Yes. Come here, babies. Let's put you on this bed. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry, I know. They're like, what's this lady doing? Why'd she wake us up from our nap? Okay. Casper, you coming too? <laughs> Let's go, guys. Kittens are now back in their little kitten area, but let me give you guys a full tour of their nursery. So this is where the kittens stay in the playpen. We have their litter, a couple toys in here, but only one right now. And then this is a cat tree that when Ghost stays in here, he usually chills on this cat tree. I actually took the cushions off because I'm gonna be cleaning that right now. This is my litter robot that I have in here. I have a water fountain right here, and then I have food right there. We wanna keep all those three things in separate areas. This is where I kind of keep some storage stuff and this is their air purifier. I keep some treats in here, some of the extra collars, and then 
I have a heating pad. This is the scale. This is the trimmer I used on summer. Here's some gloves. Here are the litter robot bags. And here I have some grooming stuff. And here I have just a bunch of toys. And then here are the puppy pee bags. So this is the storage I keep in this little compartment. And then in this closet is a lot more storage. I have some extra litter boxes when I need them. That is the litter I just used. And then up here, it's not as organized, but I just have a bunch of cat carriers that I like to keep out of the way. Um, this is some extra rope that I used to fix one of my cat trees. And then there's the extra playpen. So yeah, here is the cat nursery slash ghost room. Depends on what it's needed for at the time. But right now, it's the kitten's nursery. I'm gonna take each of the kittens out of here and we're gonna put them in the litter to see if any of them have to go. Cause they were all just in that bathroom. I know, come on Cleo. She's like, what are you doing? What is this weird smelling thing? <laughs> come on guys, you're next Cookie. There we go. They're checking it out, smelling it. This is their very first time ever stepping in litter. So they're gonna take some time to figure out what it even is. Let's do Cosmo next. Woohoo! come on Cosmo. Check it out, smell it, see what it's all about. <laughs> And of course, Casper is messing with the puppy pee pads, making a mess. Let's do Clover. There you go, Clover. Check out what that is. See if you have to go. Last kitten, Charlie. There you go, Charlie. No one's had to go yet, but they're still chicken it out, smelling it. Casper, what do you think of the kittens? Do you like them? Do you think they're cute? I think they're pretty cute. I mean, look at Cosmo. He's so cute. I think Casper is really excited for when he gets to play with the kittens. Yep. Well, it looks like one kitten decided not to use the litter boxes, but they were close. So it is day one. We'll give him some time. <laughs> So it has been about 24 hours since I cleaned everything and set everything up. I wanted to show you guys just a good representation of how messy the kittens can be at times. But that's okay, because they're learning. Look at Miss Cleo over here, eating the litter. I know, Summer. I told him, these kittens, they'll try and eat anything. In there. What are you doing? No, you can't eat that. You're supposed to pee in it, not eat it. I wanted to show you guys that a few of the kittens have started to use the litter box. And so we're doing great. We're making improvements and it's only been about three days. Here goes Clover. She's trying to find the perfect spot to go to the bathroom at because there's so many options. Um, but yeah, she's about to go. See, they're learning. We're so proud of you, Clover. You did it. Yeah, right. Now, I don't know about you, Charlie. Are you going to the bathroom in the litter box? Probably not. Clover just went into the litter box. We're so proud of you, Clover.